Monica Triana. I'm an MBA student. I do a concentration in marketing and I'm also doing a master's in business analytics. Our club is called Standout MBA. We just started it this year, 2018. And my role within the club is the co-founder and I'm a member of the exec executive board of four people. Yes, uh, my name is Luke Sesh. I am, of course, also at Arizona State University. Uh, I'm a co-founder and president of our club, Standout. I am doing consulting for my concentration uh, from a small town in northern Wisconsin, so I was really excited to just be able to be a part of starting the first uh, LGBTQ plus club somewhere. Uh, we just had our first event or our first kickoff event. It must have been a couple weeks ago. Uh, so the things that we're really trying to do are um, ASU in general is a small class. For both classes, first and second year, we only have about 200 students total. Uh, so we're really investing in not only appealing to the LGBTQ plus community, but also allies. So that's one of our, has been one of our major initiatives. We actually just um, elected our first year representative and it is an ally. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's been fun for us. Uh, this year we want to partner with uh, different uh, clubs. So there's a wine club, there's of course the finance club, consulting club. So what we're really trying to do is partner with them to bring in speakers, hopefully with some sort of diversity focus uh, or um, sponsoring uh, an LGBTQ plus speaker to come in and you know, talk to students, um, share their business experience. Well, people should get involved uh, to be supportive of their classmates. Also, so we have different objectives, either if you're LGBT or an ally. So for LGBT, people, we want you to be sure that this is a welcoming environment. You can just be yourself. Uh, you don't have to hide anymore. Uh, just know that everyone here will accept you and love you for who you are. That's what we've seen so far with our classmates when we went through the coming out experience uh, within the class. And for allies, we want you to learn how to be a supportive person, learn, how, le learn about all the things that go into being an LGBT person so you can uh, just know how to deal with it in the future if you have encounters with LGBT people. Also, if you have any questions that you want to have answered, you can also come here. This is an open environment and you can just be free to ask whatever you want. One of the coolest things about ASU, so I'm not sure if a lot of people know this, um, but we are, we're part of what's called the Forward Focus class. So it was a change um, at ASU and not only making the class larger, having a larger commitment to diversity in terms of um, the number of international students that they've let in. Um, I think it kind of speaks to we started the first LGBTQ plus club. Um, it's the first one you know, in the history of the graduate school, which is pretty cool. Um, Forward Focus also meant that um, we were fully scholarship, so anyone who applied and was accepted and enrolled was completely, got a complete tuition scholarship. So that's something that's changing a little bit um, going forward, and I, I don't want to misspeak with all the details, but I know that not everyone will be receiving a, a full scholarship, but there will still be scholarships available to everyone. The amount may change a little bit, um, but my understanding, and you can correct me, I think um, everyone's still getting some form of a scholarship, so that's a, a, a really cool aspect of ASU. Um, top program, uh, but also for me it's really what committed me there was the, di the diversity, the, the real commitment to doing something different in the MBA space, uh, wanting to see kind of what making those changes would be, what fully scholarshipping all the students, um, what sort of changes that would bring to just the status quo of an 